What's up everyone, it's your boy Siebs, and today we're talking about how you can get paid to travel and make videos for clients. Right now, I'm actually on a 16 day road trip through the gorgeous state of California. So I'm gonna take you through the story of how I got this exact client and how you guys can do the same. Trust me guys, six years ago, I was working at a car dealership. I was watching videos exactly like this on YouTube, trying to figure out if this was possible. Can you actually get paid to travel? What type of equipment do you need when you wanna work on travel campaigns? How do you get into the industry? So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips, tricks, and other pieces of advice. Before we get into all of that though, let me show you a couple quick B-roll shots from this trip. Hit it! All right guys, we're back in the studio. As much as I wanted to spend all my time out there making a YouTube video, we had actual client work to do. Most people find it hard to believe that not only are we being sent on these ridiculous adventures, but we're getting paid on top of it to do it. And additionally, we even get to do a ton of these incredible activities so we can showcase to potential customers what they could do when they travel with these clients. It took a little bit of work when I was first getting started, but it happened much quicker than I expected. And I actually got my first travel gig after only a couple months. I promise you guys, if I can do this, you can do it too. Last month I went to Switzerland. The month before that I was in uh, Wisconsin, Vegas, and California. I'm happy to get the experience to travel and shoot with all the equipment and actually have someone else pay for those trips. That's right, we went to Switzerland. It wasn't much, but a friend reached out because they saw the videos that I was posting on social and asked if I wanted to go to Switzerland for the week to help them film content for their new business. Everything that I had working towards instantly became a reality. And trust me when I say, I had never been happier than I quit my job. Before we get into the specifics, I need to set the stage just a little bit. So like I said, guys, six years ago, I was working at a car dealership. I was burnt out, I was miserable. I basically lost my soul. Like I gave up everything that I loved in life. I was working 70, 80 hours a week, only had four or five days off a month. It was miserable. I knew I needed to make a change and find more meaningful work in life. I wanted to be able to free up my time to do more meaningful things that I wanted to do versus being trapped in that corporate rat race. Like I remember when I was asking myself, is this it? You just, you clock in, you clock out, you get a paycheck, you live for a couple days a week, and this was the exact moment I decided to make a change. No amount of money was worth being miserable my whole life, especially when I knew a big company like this had zero loyalty towards their employees. You were just like another fly on the wall. So I quit. When I quit, I had the ultimate goal of doing pretty much this. I wanted to live life on my own terms, get paid to travel, and build a successful business. I was tired of working for others, and I knew I could figure out ways to be a creative entrepreneur and work from anywhere with just my laptop and my camera. I knew in order to get those travel video jobs, or any video job in general, really, I needed something to showcase. So I got to work. I was up every morning before sunrise practicing my craft. Not a game, we talking about practice. And I started making videos as much as possible, really. I was so against all the cookie cutter BS in the industry. I didn't wanna make wedding videos. I didn't wanna do corporate videos. I wanted to be an adventure photographer and change the games with drones, epic underwater stuff, and just showcasing the natural beauty of the world. So I would go out, shoot, post these on social media, and they would do great. It let all my friends know that I was shooting video, and it actually started to bring in some local businesses that needed help with video. So that's pro tip number one here, guys. As simple as it may seem, you need to be creating work as much as you can, as often as you can when you're first getting started. A, it's a great way to get good fast. Every project you do, you're gonna get better and better. And B, you'll be amazed at how much interest this attracts to you and your business. Even though some of those jobs in the beginning were not my ideal clients, they were basically paying me to practice was how I looked at it. So I took on enough local jobs to cover my basic expenses every month, and I made sure all my other time went into shooting travel content, building my brand, and reaching out to travel companies. I wanted to be the best in the world when it came to creating travel videos for destinations. So that's what I did, and it actually led me to land my first high-paying travel gig. A friend of mine from way back had been seeing my travel content on social media, and her company had a tourism client they were working with and needed someone to help. And I remember I got a call, and they were on the phone. It was just me at the time working for myself. And they were like, do you have a producer? Do you have a sound guy? All this stuff. 
I was like, yeah, totally. Meanwhile, I'm Googling on my phone, what is a producer? <laughs> Anyways, I got paid to go shoot sunrises and go on boats with dolphins for a couple days. I was already doing this stuff for fun. Well, not the dolphin part, but I was already doing that other stuff for fun most days. And now someone was gonna pay me over five figures to do it. Like this was living the dream. So to answer your question, can you get paid to travel? Yes, absolutely. And at this time, guys, I didn't have a big social media following. I didn't have thousands of dollars worth of gear or fancy website, none of that. So please don't think you need that. It was just by going all in. This was the first, one of the first big proposals I was able to put together. I was able to include travel expenses, travel time. It was a good project, quoted it really well. And you realize, you know, working with these legit companies, how much different it can be than working with these smaller companies that, you know, don't have the budget necessarily, you know, don't understand what actually goes into everything. It's just, they get it. Archizing, because I know some of you are gonna ask, this was my basic gear breakdown for that shoot. First camera I ever got was the GoPro 4. This is how I learned to shoot and edit. And then a little bit after that, I got the original Mavic. This is the Mavic 2 here. I've probably crashed about 10 drones in my filming career. Uh, it's one of those things that you just know happens. A little bit later, I got the Canon 80D and I had a basic wide lens and then a 50 millimeter for a little bit more detailed shots. The reason I loved this camera when I started was it had a tap to focus touchscreen. I didn't know how to do all the fancy things and dial and focus and whatnot. So I rented a second one of these cameras, the 80D for that shoot. And if you guys don't have this equipment, you know, I had a basic gimbal and whatnot, but everything else I pretty much either rented or borrowed from people. So once again, you don't need a ton of expensive gear to get going. It will only cost you a couple hundred dollars to rent this stuff if needed and you're working with clients. The bigger aspect is learning how to get those clients and bring them in the door. And we worked our butts off on that project to go above and beyond for that client. This brings me to tip number two do the hard things, love everything, spend hours working to make the best content you can, add your own style, whether it's a certain transition or maybe you shoot a certain way and then go out and make it happen. I had to practice, I had to go out, invest energy into learning and get better for a little bit and then it all paid off. For example, the client only had a schedule to shoot one sunrise. I knew with that experience of practicing every morning that you never know what you're gonna get first thing in the morning. So we made sure to be up for sunrise each and every day and boy, did it pay off. We got the most epic sunrise one morning and the client instantly realized why we were a great fit for projects moving forward. We weren't even scheduled to shoot that morning. <laughs> And like I said, guys, there were several other clients over the years that we were able to work with. Private villas in the Maldives, a luxury cruise to Antarctica, we did South Africa with five-star accommodations, and even a luxury safari to Kenya. It's been nuts. So anywho, let's flash forward a couple years from when I first started, and this explains how I got to California. So I got a call from a good buddy of mine who had a small budget for a project down in the Florida Keys and asked us if we were interested. Any other time, I would have probably said no, but we really had no other travel campaigns going on. It was the Florida Keys, like what did we have to lose? So I saw this as a perfect opportunity and this could be a dream client. It wasn't just this one property, they had properties all over the United States. So instead of worrying about trying to profit on this project, I basically used any budget I had to make this project as epic as possible. With my past experience working with clients, I knew that most clients don't know what they want or need until they see it. And by spending a day or two filming at one of their properties and putting some time into their edits, we could showcase them a much bigger picture for all their units all over the United States. For me as a business owner, I was looking at that much bigger long-term opportunity with the client. And this client would be so much fun to work with. So we went down to the keys, we blew it out, we made a couple videos that we could show them. When we got back, I showed them this rock solid content campaign package that basically we could be doing at all of their properties all around the US. Each quarter we could focus on a different area of interest. So we pitched it, they loved the idea, and since then we've been able to focus on several other key regions in the time. We went all around Florida, we did two weeks through the Pacific Northwest, and the last trip we did was 16 days through California. We made sure to crush it on each and every one of these trips, and on top of our basic deliverables, we wanted to show them all this other content that we could be doing for them. Which brings me to tip number three, guys, go deep with your clients to make win wins. Something I've learned in the first couple years of business is it's much better to work with a select group of clients that you can get reoccurring work from or ideally a retainer and then be able to grow with them together over the long term versus constantly chasing clients for one-off projects, needing to put all that energy into going to find a new one, etc. Like I said, it required some work on my end to help my clients but the more value I was able to provide to them, the more they wanted to lock me in and pay me to keep helping. 
And trust me guys, clients love working with you when you can help them. Thanks for tuning in and do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you found this valuable. Also, if you really wanna speed up your growth, we've built an amazing team that's capable of giving you step-by-step -step training on how to scale your content creation business. If you want to learn more about getting access to some free training and potentially some direct coaching, click the link beneath the video and hopefully 